get from one part of Vancouver, the south side to the north side, the, the bridge, yeah. Lionsgate Bridge, is the main th thoroughfare for vehicles. The more expensive way is to go by one of these planes, which eventually gets up off the water. A lot of people travel each day on the ferry, which is part of the well-integrated transport system of train, ferry and bus on the other side. As we leave the ferry port we get a fine view of Canada Place. This is where the cruise liners dock. What a difference between Sapphire Princess and the Zoiderdam on the other side of the jetty. This is the Holland America line. Zoyder. The ferry is taking us across the Burrard Inlet across to North Vancouver and from there our next port of call is the Capilano Suspension Bridge. It was Saturday afternoon and there was something of a a bit of excitement going on. We certainly got a nice welcome. We actually came to see the suspension bridge. It was built there to connect the forestry area on either side of the river. It's a the suspension bridge but it didn't half swing about. As you can tell, the camera was being kept still but nevertheless it's a bit jerky. <laughs> Canadian cousin Jeff looked a little bit uh, anxious about it, gave us a nervous wave. As the river below danced up and down. And this diagram shows the age process on the left, telling us that that was what it was like 12,000 years ago. And then on the right, what it's like today the manufacture of this huge gorge. A walk in the forest can be done at about 50 or 60 feet above ground on this tree walk. The trees grow tall and straight and this is Grandma Capilano. In fact, the diagram is showing probably one of the biggest trees, a Douglas fir, in North Vancouver. But Grandma Capilano is quite impressive. And this is the lady herself, Grandma Capilano.
When in British Columbia, you're never very far from a totem pole. I think these are modern versions, but there are some old ones around. The totem pole tells the family history. But I think these are very modern ones. There was a bit of craft work going on at this site at Capilano Bridge. And I think this is an attempt to keep alive the old crafts and the old ways of life. This man was hiding under a lampshade yeah. doing his designs. We came to see a bridge, but we got more than we bargained for. Very entertaining. Then the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny, weighed more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and it always awoke him with charms. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather's thought was too large for the shelf, so it stood, and he 